Now let's take a problem. Um, let's continue from where we left, uh, where we had a table of uh, Gnanapit awardees. Now let's assume that we had a data set of Gnanapit awardees and we wanted to create an HTML document out of it. Um, so let's say the data is in a dictionary format, right? Uh, let's say uh, here is the data. Uh, the data has only one row currently. It has your awardee's name and a, uh, which language. Yeah, this is the thing. I want to create a HTML document similar to what we had created in experiment one, right? It has a table and a table will um, show the columns. Now let's do that by creating a HTML document uh, in a template. Now what you could do is uh, let me just show you the like you know how the final template would look like and then we can do a substitution right. Let me just create a simple HTML actually I am just going to paste it okay. I am going to replace this template with the template of HTML. I'm going to uh, show you the value here. Let me just make it a little bigger. Okay, you can see here uh, the template has all the HTML documentation, um, head part, you know, basic uh, tags required. Then it has a uh, awardees header. Then it has a table and a row, but the row doesn't have any values. Now we want to populate these row values from this. Um, actual values uh, into this so that when I do a uh, template dot render template I get that but uh, to get that I want to pass this uh, you know data right to the template uh, let's uh, let's try and pass it right, let's try and pass it now if I run this okay it just prints, it prints the same thing. There's no uh, substitution happening here. To, for the substitution happen, we have to use this uh, Nanapi data and insert those like variables here. Let's do that, you know, like we saw, you know, double quote. And here the data is a dictionary and the values are inside the dictionary. So you can access it like you would access it in Python, you know. Um, have it a square bracket, um, you know, and then year so that it prints in here. Similarly, we can do for, you know, awardees. And so I'm just going to copy paste and modify it, right? I'm just going to replace for awardees and language, right? If I save now, does it look good? Yeah, it does look good. Okay, let's run now. If I run now, now you can see that in our HTML document, we are actually replacing the values, right? Now this is okay if there was only one, um, you know, only one row. What if uh, we had many rows? Um, assume that we had a, a collection of or list of um, uh, rows or list of direction uh, dictionaries. Uh, let's take one example. Yeah. Now, here in this we have three rows, right? If you um, if you want, this ideally should display three rows. Let's see what happens. I'm just passing NAMP data here as this. Uh, let's see what happens if I run now right it doesn't do anything right because it's trying to assume this as a dictionary and trying to get values from it but this is actually not a dictionary this is a array so it's there's no substitution happening so now actually what we need to do is actually in a regular world we'll iterate through this uh, array and then take one by one and create rows right so we would probably put a for loop 
and then you know go around doing that uh, creating rows for every loop so basically if 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 it was done manually you would have done roughly somewhat like this three rows of it right because there are three rows but we won't do that like that uh, we instead we'll use a for loop um, now jinja also allows you to do uh, for loop similar to how you would do in python so what i'll do is i'll write a for loop right uh, So now you can see that it looks different. This has flower bucket and percentage. This execute this part, and same here. But this case, this double flower bucket actually gets uh, replaced. Again here, uh, here we are not trying to get from Gnanapit because this is an array. We are getting one Gnanapit at a time from Gnanapit data and trying to display. So this has to be uh, these values. Okay. Now what we're doing is actually we are starting the for loop. We're taking uh, one item nanopeat out of nanopeat data, which is an array. Uh, first one is let's say this, and then we are trying to print here. Award is a language, and you know we do that three times. Once that is done, we end the for loop. So it actually, if there are three rows, it will create three rows here because you know we are repeating the loop three times. Uh, let's try and run this, right? Oh, now you can see there are three rows here, right? Created an HTML table dynamically with three rows with just this simple for loop. This is the power of um, Jinja 2. You can do a lot of complex things uh, quite easily. Now. Let's say um, after you render this, you actually don't want to print this, right? You want to actually write it to a file system uh, or to a disk so that you can view the HTML. Let's do that. That's actually quite simple. You can open up the file um, uh, and then you can write the template. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to remove this. Let's call this. Um, instead of uh, printing it directly i'll call it content then actually i'll open a file called gnanapeat.html uh, for writing purpose yeah so i'm opening a document file opening it uh, file name is uh, gnanapeat.html for writing purpose if the file doesn't exist it will create a new file now i will to this open file i'll write the content right and that is done just by just writing content once i write the content i'm going to close the file All right so now what we are doing we have a list of uh, nanopita bodies we have a template which renders them as table. Uh, once it's rendered, I'm going to open a local HTML file, write that content and close it. Let's run this and see uh, how it looks. All right? Okay. I did run. Let's go to the uh, thing. So you can see um, it's been uh, generated. The HTML file has been generated. Let's go. Uh, open that in the uh, browser, right? Uh, here, the table is created and you can see that, you know, all three rows exist. If you want to view source, you can view source. It's clean HTML written uh, like almost it's written using hand um, very nicely now usually uh, you don't want to keep um, this 
template in a same code base uh, now in the same file which you have code basically you would ideally try to keep it in a separate file to keep the uh, content or uh, the template separate from the code that generate uses that template yeah so I, instead of actually uh, keeping it here i'll actually create a separate file called template file and i'll write it to it you can actually name with any extension uh, but i'm going to create a file uh, with one specific extension uh, called you know template.html jinja2 or you know we can even call it because it's for gnanapit file uh, we can call it uh, gnanapit.html jinja2 um, then i'll open it so here we have opened a file um, what i'll do now uh, i'll transfer this content into that independent template file so that you know code and uh, template is separate okay i'm moved into a template file um, i don't need this variable anymore but I need to read the template content. So basically now I'm going to read that file from the system and use that here. Okay. Let's open a template file. Um, it's just generally used, uh, uh, done using the same open command. Now open. Uh, our template uh, file name is nanapit dot uh, html dot jinja2 just going to copy it and paste it here i am just going to open this for read only purpose um, so you can just leave it or you can mark it read only once it, the file is open i want to read the content of the file into a variable um, let's see same thing let's use the same thing template uh, template dot read right once it's read uh, i want to close this template file right close then that template content is passed on to a template class and then template object is created. So here are the three part. First part, I'm just going to read, write some comment. Um, comments usually begin with hash. Read the template file content into a variable render the template using ginger 2 then save the rendered html document right these are the three major steps that we are doing in this so now um, let's just delete the previously generated nanpit.html and rerun it to generate yeah oh sorry i reopened it what rather clear it python app not by i'm just going to open this folder so you can see as it generates yeah okay there's an error okay let's see what's the error template file template file dot close it's not template dot read it's actually template file dot read just a bug usually you, here you are opening the file you're reading from the same file right 
So it has to be same. Clear. All right, it's run. Can do it again. I'm just going to delete this. Right here, it's generated. You can open it. Generate the same file, right? So this way, now if you see our thing, uh, we have a simple but very good uh, project structure where our application is in app.py, our template is in template file requirements, all the package requirements are in requirements.txt and we have our local virtual engine. This is the simplest uh, project structure um, that you would find and we are generating with our HTML dynamically. Now, you know, if you add one more row, let's say 1968 i don't know who got it in 1968 let's say xxx uh, yeah and language yyy i don't know who with who got in 1968 so i'm just going with random so i'm going to rerun and open this again you can see the new row got added. So our, you know, follow up is working quite well. Uh, or it, it's the same thing where if you remove, you know, two of them and then, you know, you rerun and you can refresh this. You can see it's changed. Right. Now we can do many other things. You can add a uh, style to your template file just the way you would have added it in HTML and that would work too. Right. Um, this is the just like a simple uh, template using Jinja 2. Uh, you could assume this is just a taste of Jinja 2. Uh, Jinja 2 is very powerful. You can do many other things with Jinja 2 including, you know, um, like in Python, how would you do conditional statements? If else, similar conditional statements you could do. Um, you could do macros, you could do blocks, uh, you could do template hierarchy, have a base template, then extend that base template. Or you can also include one template into an another template so that you could do, reuse the code. And uh, I'll uh, show you the page or where you can get more information about Jinja 2, go to, you know, Jinja 2 project uh, uh, from palletsproject.com, uh, which is the, the project home, or you could just search it on um, your search uh, service, Google or Bing for Jinja 2 and you should land up here and then you could explore it, uh, all the things that you can do with it. Uh, for example, uh, like the way I was saying template inheritance, um, you could do like you know HTML escaping or you could do like loop controls, uh, expressions, many other things. I think you should uh, explore it when you get time. Uh, it's quite interesting and you could generate all kinds of uh, documents using this. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye.